Welcome to ATCM, the emergency medicine channel. Today we will discuss about pneumonia. Pneumonia is acute parenchymal lung infection. Mostly it is acute, rarely it can be chronic like tuberculosis and all. There are three types of major uh, pneumonias. One is community acquired pneumonia that is acquiring from the community. Hospital acquired pneumonia that is acquired from a hospital. Pneumonia you know, compromised patient like patient who is having HIV, patient who is, uh, who is uh, treated with uh, uh, anti-malignant uh, uh, drugs or patient is having uncontrolled diabetes. They are called as uh, immunocompromised. So three types, classical community acquired pneumonia, hospital acquired pneumonia, pneumonia in a immunocompromised state. Okay. Now we'll see what are the common organism which is, uh, which is uh, behind community acquired pneumonia. The most common organism which can produce, bacterial organism which can produce community acquired pneumonia is uh, streptococcus pneumonia. That is the most common, common uh, pneumonia. Chlamydia pneumonia can be there in some uh, uh, patients. Mycoplasma is another uh, organism. Legionella is another organism, but the clinical findings are a uh, little different in this uh, typical pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia classically present with cough, breathlessness, uh, uh, sputum production, all these things. But uh, other pneumonias are like chlamydia, mycoplasma, legionella, they produce slow pneumonia and uh, typical symptoms like uh, hemolytic jaundice, carditis, hyponatremia, diarrhea, confusion state, they are called as a typical pneumonia. So, commonest organism for community acquired pneumonia is always streptococcus pneumonia. Okay. Uncommon organs which can produce uh, community acquired pneumonia is staphylococcus, klebsiella. But remember, klebsiella is very common in alcoholic patients. It has got a uh, predilection towards the upper lobe uh, of uh, upper lobe involvement in uh, classical klebsiella pneumonia. Upper lobes are classically involved in klebsiella pneumonia. And uh, Haemophilus influenza is another uh, organism which can present community acquired pneumonia. And viral uh, pneumonias are very uh, common nowadays. So H1N1 is one of the virus which can present with uh, community acquired pneumonia. Remember bacterial infection normally produces a lobar pneumonia. Viral infection produces a uh, produces bilateral infiltrates in the uh, chest X-ray. Okay, the commonest uh, organism which present with the community acquired pneumonia is Streptococcus pneumonia. A typical organism like Chlamydia, Mycoplasma, Legionella can be there. Staphylococcus is an uncommon organism. Klebsiella is classically seen in alcoholics. It has got a predilection towards upper lobe involvement. Okay. Now we we already discussed about typical and atypical pneumonia. Typical means this pneumonia present with fever, chills, pleuritic chest pain, tachypnea, cough and expectoration. Classically seen in streptococcus pneumonia. Atypical pneumonia, pneumonia means the patient can have fever, arthralgia, diarrhea, hemolytic anemia, uh, uh, jaundice, all these things. They are classically seen in legionella, mycoplasma, chlamydia. Depending on the bacteria, where the clinical findings may vary. Okay. Now anatomical classification, now we will see anatomically how the pneumonias are different. Some pneumonias are classified as lobar pneumonia because it involves one lobe of the uh, lung. Okay. Classically seen in streptococcus, it has got a predilection for lower lobe, uh, lobes of the lung. Klebsiella has got a upper lobe predilection. Interstitial pneumonia is classically seen in mycoplasma, pneumocystis carini or pneumocystis gerovesi. It is classically seen in HIV patients. Bronco pneumonia or bilateral extensive infiltration is classically seen in viral pneumonia. In bacteria, staphylococcus is common. Okay. So, a lobar pneumonia, interstitial pneumonia, bronco pneumonia are the three anatomical types of pneumonia which is classically seen. Now, we will see what is streptococcus pneumonia. That is a very, that is a very common type of community acquired pneumonia. It mainly affects one lobe of the lung. Classically, it's see, uh, it, the pneumonia is seen in middle lobe or lower lobe. But upper lobe involvement can be there. If you are getting an upper lobe involvement, suspect Klebsiella. Okay. But even Streptococcus also can produce uh, upper lobe involvement. Classical findings for this typical pneumonia is high degree fever, chills, cough with expectoration, rusty sputum, pleuritic chest pain, dyspnea, all, all are the features of acute streptococcal pneumonia. Klebsiella pneumonia we have already discussed. It is not, not a very common pneumonia which is uh, seen in uh, community acquired pneumonia, but it is classically seen in patients who is having alcoholism and they, that has got a predilection towards the upper lobe of the lungs. Okay. So, 
now we'll see what are the uh, sorry uh, now we'll see what are the other atypical organism which is commonly seen in our community that is viral pneumonia h1n1 is a classical virus which is very commonly seen in uh, our country which produces bilateral extensive pneumonia produced by a viral viral uh, organism h1n1 is a very common bilateral chest infiltrative pneumonia okay uh, most of the patients will have initially uh, upper respiratory finding uh, sore throat cough breathlessness wheeze and bilateral pneumonia okay they may not have high degree fever a low grade fever can be there mycoplasma pneumonia and legional pneumonia sir a typical pneumonia mycoplasma pneumonia you can get classically hemolytic anemia along with the cough and breathlessness legionella pneumonia you can get gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and cough and other things are classically seen confusion and altered mental status also seen in legionella pneumonia okay now we'll see what is hospital acquired pneumonia or ventilator associated pneumonia pneumonia acquiring at least 48 hours after hospital admission and not incubating at the time of admission that means patient has developed pneumonia after 48 hours of the admission is called as hospital acquired pneumonia hospital acquired pneumonia if the patient is in ward you have to suspect streptococcus h influenza staphylococcus klebsiella e coli and proteus in icu you have to suspect little more serious infection like pseudomonas klebsiella enterobacteria acinetobacter mrsa or esvl uh, bacteria okay ventilatory uh, ventilator acquired pneumonia means pneumonia occurring after at least 48 hours of mechanical ventilation is called as ventilator associated pneumonia so healthcare associated pneumonia again divided into two one is hospital acquired pneumonia that is any patient admitted to hospital ventilator acquired pneumonia is a patient on ventilator developing pneumonia uh, is called as ventilatory ventilator acquired pneumonia okay now the next class uh, type of pneumonia is aspiration pneumonia we all aspirate every day small amount of uh, saliva or oral uh, oral material it uh, contains uh, different type of bacteria but since we have a very good immune system and our lungs are very good in expelling this uh, foreign body we don't develop pneumonia but somebody is having a disease like uh, malignancy diabetes reduced immunity they develop aspiration pneumonia patients in icu can have aspiration pneumonia so depending on the area where uh, aspiration is seen uh, you can uh, see what type of organism uh, is uh, present in that but normally oral air, uh, anaerobes pr produce uh, aspiration pneumonia okay now we'll see what are the clinical features of uh, pneumonia we have already discussed we are on uh, we most of the time we see only typical pneumonias but uh, atypical pneumonia can present with uh, diarrhea altered behavior hyponatremia hemolytic anemia all these things but typical pneumonia present with symptoms like fever chills cough sputum production chest uh, pleuritic chest pain tachypnea arthralgia loose stools altered behavior arthralgia loose stools and altered behavior is classically seen in atypical pneumonia uh, other things are seen in typical pneumonia and signs are patient ha may, can have uh, tachypnea hypoxia tachycardia hypotension and other signs of pneumonia we'll see the signs of pneumonia on clinical examination on chest examination so there are four stages of pneumonia in a, a classical lobar pneumonia the first stage is called a stage of congestion second stage is called as stage of red hepatization third stage is stage of gray hepatization fourth stage is uh, stage of resolution okay so the first stage of uh, uh, pneumonia that is stage of congestion you may not get any signs stage of red and gray hepatization the lung has become solid so you get all findings like increased vocal from it is vocal resonance and tubular breath sound stage of resolution means that uh, solid part has started resolving you get coarse crepitations so pneumonia itself you get different uh, findings because of the stages are different okay now if we see the chest x-ray uh, once the patient is admitted to emergency room immediately you have to take an x-ray for suspected pneumonia case you can see the x-ray x-ray shows bilateral infiltration with uh, a, a air bronchogram you can see the lung fields are completely white in color but you can see uh, the bronchogram like a tree okay it's called as air bronchogram that's a typical uh, feature of uh, consolidation 
So this X-ray shows bilateral chest infiltration with air bronchogram. Okay. Now you can uh, uh, suppose you are seeing a viral pneumonia. You can see extensive bilateral infiltrates. The differential diagnosis for a viral pneumonia can be can even be an uh, ARDS. Okay. So normally bacterial pneumonia produces uh, lobar pneumonia. Klebsiella produces upper lobe pneumonia. Uh, streptococcus produce uh, predominantly lower lobe pneumonia. It can even involve the upper lobe. Viral pneumonias are bilateral and extensive. Okay. Now, once the patient is admitted, you have to take an ABG. You have to take an infection screen like you have to do a complete blood count, CRP, procalcitonin, all these things. Sputum culture should be done. Blood culture may be positive in 30% of the chest X-ray. Sorry, 30% uh, of the pneumonia cases. Now, we will see what are the markers of severity. Altered mental status, tachypnea more than 30 be, uh, breaths per minute, hypotension, PaCO2 more than 15, 50 millimeter of mercury, PaO2 less than 60 millimeter of mercury, chest X-ray more than one lobe involvement or rapid progression, or evidence of renal failure, positive blood culture, all are markers of severity. This type of patients may go to ICU. You have a score, Krebs uh, 65, Krebs 65 scoring. Uh, that will tell you where, uh, where where this patient should be admitted. Can we discharge the patient? Can we admit the patient to ward? Can we admit the patient to intensive care unit? In that confusion, blood urea, respiratory rate, uh, systolic BP, age more than 65, each has got 1-1 one, one scoring. 0 to 1, treat the patient as an outpatient. 2, consider a short stay in hospital uh, or closely watch the patient from outpatient. 3 to 5 requires hospital admit, uh, admission. If it is a higher score, you may have to admit the patient in uh, intensive care unit. This is called as CURB, C U R B 65 admission criteria scoring. Okay. Now, uh, once you admit the patient, you have to decide on antibiotic. Okay. Normally, somebody is having community acquired pneumonia, you know that it is a streptococcal pneumonia. You will have to give penicillin groups. You can give Penicillin injection, you can give amoxicillin injection, you can give uh, augmented injection. If the patient can be discharged, you can put him on tablet uh, amoxicillin or tablet augmented. If the patient has got already existing lung disease like COPD or ILD, you'll have to go for uh, a gram negative coverage also. You have to give a wider coverage. Moxifloxin 400 milligram OD or levofloxin 750 milligram OD is the better choice in a patient who is having already damaged lung. Otherwise, you can go for a gram positive coverage like amoxicillin or augmented. If the patient is admitted in ICU, then depending on the antibiogram in your hospital, you will have to hike up the uh, antibiotics. You have to use uh, piperacillin dasabactam or meropena. If you are suspecting an atypical bacteria, you have to go for macrolides like azithromycin 500 milligram once daily, 3 to 5 days. So, basic antibiotic regime is very simple. If you are discharging the patient, no need to admit it is a community acquired pneumonia. Use penicillin groups like amoxicillin or augmentin, even doxycycline can be tried. If the patient is having a damaged lung or pre-existing lung disease, use moxifloxin or levofloxin. If you are suspecting an atypical pneumonia, again moxifloxin, levofloxin has got a good coverage for atypical pneumonia. But azithromycin is the classical drug should be used in atypical pneumonia. If you are uh, uh, treating an aspiration pneumonia, the treatment is slightly different. You can use penicillin, you can use uh, clindamycin along with the uh, antibiotic uh, what is given depending on the severity. If the patient is in ICU, then you will have to go for a little higher antibiotic like piperacillin, tazobactam or meropenem. So, we have discussed about pneumonia. It is an infection of your lung. Uh, various bacteria, viruses can present with uh, uh, infection in the lung. Clinical findings may be cough with uh, pleuritic chest pain, sputum production, uh, fever with chills. On examination, you may get crepitation, you may get bronchial breath sound. Treatment is mainly, depending on the uh, bacteria or virus, you give antibiotics. Suppose it is a viral infection, do, uh, give uh, do, no need of antibiotic, you give uh, H1N1 treatment. Now we have discussed about uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection of the uh, lungs. Uh, it can produce parenchymal infection. You have different types of pneumonia. You can have lobar pneumonia, uh, bronchial pneumonia or interstitial pneumonia. Both bacteria and viruses can produce uh, pneumonia. 
depending on the severity you have to fix the antibiotic normally in bacterial pneumonia you can give amoxicillin augmentin levofloxacin moxifloxacin doxycycline azithromycin can be used in atypical pneumonia if you have a viral pneumonia oseltamivir 75 mg bd for 5 days should be given thank you Subscribe to ATCM Emergency Medicine on YouTube. Press the bell icon to follow us.